with Tony live for the Bill Ford Tough Studio. Boomer Esiason, Greg Giannotti, it's Boomer and Geo on the fans, simulcast across the country on CBS Sports Network. And wherever you are on the free Odyssey app, good Wednesday morning. We are inching closer to postseason basketball and postseason hockey. And we will see where these postseasons lead us. Will it be a parade down the Canyon of Heroes with a Larry O'Brien trophy or a Stanley Cup? Or will we be devastated once again in the first round like the Rangers were knocked out last year in the second round for the Knicks? I don't think so. I think we're going deep. I think we're going deep into the playoffs, and we're almost there. And last night, the Knicks with a... Another really nice win as they're up to the three seed now. The New York Islanders slapped around the Rangers as they are rounding into shape to make a playoff run themselves. And by the way, speaking of playoff runs, the New York Yankees have tied, matched their best start in franchise history at 10-2. and two. And the other four teams that were 10-2, and two, all of them went to the World Series. Things are turning around here, man. New York sports has finally turned the corner. Good morning, Boomer. How are you? Uh, I'm all right. Uh, did, you, did you just say that the Islanders slapped the Rangers yes, around? Yes, they did. Slapped them around. They, they slapped them around when they weren't looking. That's what they did. And you know it, and I know it. Nah, and that, that was a that, that, that Noah was Dobson hit unintentional. A, a check last night. Unintentional. Left the mark. He wasn't and, looking. You know, he should be suspended. We all know that. No. And Full the fact threat. of the matter is, is that they play again Saturday. The Rangers have to play the Flyers in between, and I think uh, the Islanders play Montreal in between, and then they're going to meet Saturday at noon at Madison Square Garden. Yeah. And things are going to get squared up again and it get straightened out. Hey, okay. wasn't looking. Hey, let, let me explain something to you. Yeah. The first twenty minutes. The Islanders dominated the game. The yeah. Rangers fell asleep. The, the Islanders played great. They scored three goals. I got a problem. I have a real problem on my hands. If these teams play in the playoffs, I cannot go to these games with my granddaughter. I can't. I just can't. Because I had her on my lap in the first period. Yeah. Islanders scored three go- you know, goals. Yeah. Stupid Islander goal songs being sung. She's... Cheering, Sydney's cheering. Well, I would hope so. I mean, and you know, and, and little baby Winnie is like sitting on my lap, knowing what she's doing. I, I think knowing she finally, what she's doing. Yeah, I think she understands what's happening. Hmm. And then you know, because it gets late, they got to leave after the first period. And then after they left, finally the Rangers picked up their game and dominated the game for the second and third period. But Simeon Von Larma, Varlama, the goalie for the Islanders last night. Was incredible. He played a great game. I will give him all the credit in the world. He played a great game, and then I'll then I'll tell you the rest of the guys. I mean, Casey Sizikis, come on, Mister Embellishment. Now all of a sudden, we're going to embellish. That's what we're going to do. We're going to embellish. We're going to slash. We're going to hook. We're going to cross check. We're going to drive. Sounds somebody like a into lot of excuses today. There's no excuses. That's what it sounds like. No, 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 no. There's no excuses. Wow. But I will say this: for the Rangers, who are commonly in the playoffs and ready to crank it. The Islanders came out more desperate last night. They needed the win. I understand that. Light work. And I and I give them a lot of credit for that first period. But I'm telling you, I, I am just – I left that building last night disgusted with what I saw at the end of that game. I'm just telling you, that's, that's why I feel I have to I have to get my feelings off my chest. I, 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 I know these guys. I know who they are. But, my God, I mean, they were doing everything they possibly could to keep the Rangers from actually staying on their skates. Well, I mean, isn't, and you know that. Isn't I mean, that, that, is, what... that is ridiculous. Yeah. That you can't do that. Like, you know, when Matt Rempe knocked out both of the, uh, the Devils players, yeah, I was the first guy to come in here and said he should be suspended. You can't be playing hockey the way that sometimes he ends up playing hockey and he does some stupid things and it ends up costing his team and he, and he loses all of his ice time. And I'd be the first to tell you that yes, he should have been suspended. This shot with Noah Dobson at the end of the game last night, that's the shot in the game that they're trying to get out of the game. And you can't have that. You can break somebody's neck with a shot like that. Sure. Or with a hit like that. And I'm not going to disagree with that. And that pisses me off, and it pissed off Vincent Trocek last night. And Peter Laviolette was pissed off. He was a former Islander coach. You remember him, right? Of course. When he coached your team. Yeah. And, uh, look, he knows what these battles are all about. I I give the Islanders credit for the first period and Varlamov for the second and third period. But the... I mean, the slashing and the hacking and the whacking going on. I mean, it was ridiculous. That's what you need to do when you're the Islanders at this point. Your rival comes in. you got to defend the home ice. I remember when the the Rangers a couple of years ago, you, you wanted them to get tougher. And you said the guy they are, who— They are tough here. 
no, the I'm talking a couple years ago. Yes. I think it might have been Panarin's first year as a Ranger. He and got Steve rolled by Tom Wilson. Of right, the, of Tom Capitals. Wilson. Yeah, so you said that. I was tossing around uh, Panarin like a, like a rag doll. I need to get tougher. But what the Islanders did last night was the the opposite of that. No one was getting tossed around like a rag doll. They needed to defend their home ice. They are fighting for their playoff lives mm-hmm. every single night. They got a ton of Ranger fans in there. And they said, screw it. We're going to take it to you. And they did. And you got to. Exactly. Oh, so, really? like, is that right? Yep, that's is what that Al you, said is just that now. how you feel about it right now? Yeah. I mean, this is a uh, hey, look. And if you can't respect that, then I don't know. I, I don't know. I know you you love your team, but this was desperation time for the Islanders. So, thanks for coming, you know, Ranger I, fans. Hope you had a couple of Shaq's Big Chickens and you picked up a uh, – you had a nice little Tuesday night out on Long Island. You know. <laughs> but this was uh, – We'll see you Saturday. We'll see you Saturday, but you know the other thing More too is work, then. Uh, the, the other thing too is I don't want to get caught up in all this nonsense because we know we're in the playoffs, and I don't want anybody to get hurt. I certainly don't want guys cheap shotted and getting hurt. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, I like Adam Pellick, nice guy. He supported our foundation. Uh, I appreciate him as a human being. Uh, but last night, he almost knocked out our best player uh, with a with a shoulder to the to to the chin, and and our and our. Coach called it out, said it was a vicious hit. Uh, I mean, this one, the Trocheck one, I can, I could talk uh, a little bit. He knows exactly what's going he was on. He's standing they, right there. So what's a bit of Jan taking? You know, it's not like he was four foot two. We're not dealing with little Boomer out there. Put your head up, figure out where you are on the ice, and don't run into a guy. But I'm just How about saying, that? Appellick knew where he was. How about that? You could see. He well, knew he was where standing he was. there like a monument. Like, see, you and I, like, since you don't play hockey and you don't understand, like. People see what's going on out there. They're not stupid. Well, Zabinijad didn't. Well, I, I he should have been looking at what was going on. He's, you know, keep your head up. Mm, okay, That's all. Well, look, just, look in the direction hey, of where I, the guy is. Look, I'm sitting here. I'm not going against my coach. I hear my coach. I hear what he says, and I and oh, well. I and I and I agree with him. So, and all you Islander fans out there, I know you're mad right now, and you're pissed off at everything else. You won the game. No, they're not. And I, you, Islander fans aren't pissed and off. You have a very, and you have a very good chance of making it to the playoffs, and maybe we'll see you in the playoffs. These these playoffs. Seedings haven't been settled yet by a chance. You don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want the Rangers Islanders. Rangers skated in the circles around them the last two periods. You know that. Yeah, well, I know you that. You know what? You don't get that. points for for skating circles around a team. You get points yeah, for having could, more goals than just, the other you team. You could just see. You could see. Which the, the Islanders did. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, I just, right. it was crazy. I, listen, I was. You weren't even. I, I, I'm, uh, so don't, I don't don't even get me started, and I don't want to get started. Man, I you know I had right this uh, I had this event last night. I asked him. I said, "Hey, uh, can you put the uh, Islander Ranger game up on that TV here, so I can just take a look at it?" And I'm sitting there talking to people. Goal, 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 and I had to look, and I got good eyes. I had to look. It was a smaller TV. I'm like, "Wow, three nothing." Smaller TV, huh? It's a smaller TV. A little small TV there on the, on the where yeah. you were last night. It was, well, it was a bigger one on the other side. Yeah. I was looking at this one. I go, wow, 3 like nothing. Is that 3 nothing? We have in here. Wow, 3 nothing. Yeah. yeah. And then they held on to win. So Yeah, they held on all right. <laughs> they held on and cross-checked their way to the win. Damn right. It's about right. time to play off hockey. Slashing, cross-checking. You should, be th- you should be thanking the Islanders for providing that playoff atmosphere for you that you're going to need uh, come the postseason. Now, you failed uh, last night. Um, but I think this was a little bit of a tune-up, a little wake-up call for the oh, Islanders. Let, let like, me just tell you don't something. come, you know, don't come skating in here like you're all uh, highfalutin because you're gonna get a couple elbows to the face. Oh, yeah, that... and that's exactly right. Cross-checking, slashing, but that's what you do when you when you're slower than the other team. That's okay. what happens. Well, I know that for a fact because I know that's my sometimes my problem. Yeah, I'm that's out what there you do. I'm the slowest guy, so I got to hook, cross-check, and. You know, and a couple do elbows kind of to the couple elbows to slow people down. Yeah, I get it. I understand. Yeah, I mean, unbelievable. Well, I mean, hey. I just totally unbelievable. And and you know, and then they also get you know a penalty shot with Barzell who can't bury it. <laughs> Shocking. Uh, I mean, it's just it's it was painful. I mean, I, I I'm glad I admit, you were there to see it in person. I, yeah, I, I admit walking out of that building last night, I said, you know what. Part of me is like I can't wait until Saturday. The other part of me is I just I just want everybody to calm down and I just want to get to the playoffs healthy because you know Kreider gets hit with a puck in the ankle last night. You think, oh my God, what's going to happen to him? And then you got Mika get uh, the elbow or the uh, the, the uh, shoulder to the chin, but no. <laughs> and then you got Noah Dobson cross checking Vincent Trocheck at the end. Yeah, I was thinking about you climbing into the Raptor sad last night, leaving that building. You know, just like, oh, man, shaking the head and getting in the car and then having to 
deal with the over congested Nassau County traffic. No, going home. You know what? I was I was I was parked in Diamond parking, with throwing on the radio station. Send you send wanting you. to call in. No, no, you you're not going to believe what I was listening to. Holding back tears. So uh, I had a bunch of people in my car. Uh, All and, other sad Ranger fans. Uh, like a little except, caravan of disappointed one, Ranger fans. Except, except for one who had to go pee pee before we left the building, and she put a whole like kibosh on the thing and kept us from leaving when we wanted to leave. This is is this an adult? Yes. No, it wasn't little baby Winnie. No. Well, you said had to go pee pee, so I thought maybe. Oh, you're that's talking what about she a said child. to me. She goes, "I got to go pee pee." Is that okay? And I said, "Yeah, this my is friend an adult Lisa, says I have yeah, to go yeah. pee pee." Well, I think that's what she said. I don't know what she said. I said, "Yeah." I mean, are you tell me we're leaving, and you now have to go to the bathroom. Like that's the worst. No, and she's a... an Islander fan too, and that's that made even twice as worse because the Ranger fans that I'm with, are like we got to get the hell out of here. Yeah, I mean that's a classic woman move right there. You know, just whatever I can do to f your situation off I even mean, worse. We're trying to get out of the building. Oh, can I go to the bathroom? I'm like, what? Yeah, you got to be kidding me. Who was this? Just tell Lisa. Me. Oh, Lisa O'Brien. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, so getting out of there was unbelievable. But I will say that the Cross Island Parkway North becomes the Indy 500. I will say that. Yeah. I mean, you got you got to be on your toes, Biggs. You got to watch your blind spots. You're, you got you got people coming out of nowhere. You're talking to me right I mean, now. I, you understand? I think there are people actually parking on the on the Cross Island Parkway. You know, boom, they come out of nowhere. Yeah, it is. It is incredible. It is. It's I, crazy. I deal with this every day, man. All That's hours of the day, it's of like course, that. I know. All hours of the day. I mean, I'm between, seasoned though. Between the infrastructure fixing going on yeah and you know people just flying out of you know completely god knows where Mm -hmm. i don't know how people get on that cross islands but you know it's perfect you know leaving that place and it was great getting out of there i had no problem getting out of there but man i'm I'm telling you it is a it is a full-on race once you're on that parkway it was funny so um i'm with gina last night and you know she doesn't totally understand how sick you are about the Rangers. Like she, she, I guess, doesn't believe that you're that sick. And I'm like, no, he's that sick about it. It's like, oh, it's got to be fun for them tonight. And, you know, with Boomer there and, and Winnie and, you know, Gunner and Casper and the whole thing. I said, I said, yeah, it's, it's nice, but you don't understand. Like, like the Rangers, they come first. You know, and, this is little Winnie sitting on my lap the entire first period goes, there's daddy, there's daddy, there's daddy. And I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, daddy's with the good guys. Uh, it, and daddy's she's got with this, the good guys. Got the little number 17 jersey on. Dad, there's daddy. There's yeah, daddy. You want right. a strawberry boom pie? You want a strawberry boom pie? I'm like, oh, my God. See? Exactly. And, you know, of course, they score three goals. Mm-hmm. And I got a, I, what am I, she's my granddaughter. What am I going to do, right? Hand her off to somebody else well, and I handed, go it, I handed cry in your soup. Sydney so they could do their little. Yes, yes, yes. I don't even know what that is. Uh, whatever that chant is. And by the way, they did something else last night. I don't know how to handle this. This is, Al, this is right beat, up your alley. Beat the Rangers' this, ass? This, is that what you're this, talking about? Oh, shut the hell up. This is right up your alley, Al. So during the game, they always honor a veteran of the game. And last night, there was a very, very impressive veteran uh, that they honored. And, you know, the entire place – giving the man his just due and his respect. Yeah. You stand up there. Everybody, I mean, is standing ovation at the crowd, USA, USA. It's amazing. It's these two fan bases that can't stand each other are all coming together, all screaming for this veteran. Of course. Right? Yeah. I, I'm with my Ranger guys in a Winter Brothers box. We're all there cheering and everything else. And then who jumps into uh, the picture to hand him a jersey? Dennis Potvin. Well, now, what am I supposed to do with that? How am I? Am I do I still cheer? You now? still cheer. Because what happens when he gets into the photo, the Islander fans now raise yeah. their cheers because they all love him. You know, and I'm sitting there going, I, I looked at my buddy, uh, Plansker. I said, you know, what do I do here? Do I? You do, keep cheering. Do what do you mean? What do you do? It's a weird. It's like yeah, a I think weird you could thing. boo at that point because he got the cheers and you, he was being cheered for being a veteran. And then if there are boos after that, it's because of Potvin. Right, right. And so now, you know, it's like, oh, and here, you know, uh, Islander legend, you know, Dennis Potvin to present with a jersey. And you're like, oh. <laughs> I mean, I, what are you supposed to do? I mean, I can't. And I said, Bob, my heart's with the vet, but my hands just stopped as soon as I saw him step into the uh, into the video board. Man, I tell that you. That is a really weird spot for us. 
It's not that like weird. That, I mean, just have a little respect, you know. Give, have Shannon Hogan give him the jersey. That would have been fine. Full respect for a Stanley Cup champion, multi Stanley Cup champion, and a veteran. I mean, just just clap. Just, I don't, no, just no, clap no, no, like no, a no. like a we like had, an adult. We, we had him on. Act like and a I, you, uh, you professional know how I adult. Feel you know how we feel. Yeah. All right. So uh, I'm just all I'm saying is that that was a really weird situation. How they did, and I know what they were doing. You know what they're doing. Oh, because, yeah, because the Ranger them. fans are there. Because all the Ranger fans are there, and they didn't want to hear the whistle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I, I understand. Bum, 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 I understand. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, but we you know, we got it in. I'm, I'm sure you did. We definitely got you it in. You also got a loss in UBS last night as well. So I'm glad that you snuck in your little pot fan sucks chant, but you left there with the tail between your legs, yeah. climbing into a Raptor with Islander fans that needed to pee when you got to the car, mm. and uh, well, wiping she, away she, tears she, because she, you got she, smacked around. She, I you know, she she cost us like seven minutes, which means that you now are jammed up with everybody else, you know, and all these happy Islander fans coming out of the building. I was trying oh, yeah. to get out of the building before all the fans. I ain't going to go in the bathroom. Big, it's a big win. Oh, my God. Huge win. Big. Yeah, well, for you guys, fine. Yeah. I mean, listen, this is just. It's... Hey, was Sal there? Ha! <laughs> Well, Sal's a Jersey guy now, so he's probably not going to go to UBS. So he'll longer. be a Devils fan. It's interesting. I was leaving yesterday, and I heard somebody yell, "Let's go Rangers!" And I, I heard it behind the, one of the pillars over here. Yeah, and uh, of course it was Sal. Yeah, of course. Like, oh, I didn't realize it was you, you turncoat. Now that now now that he lives in Jersey, he's going to want free Devil stuff. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. You know it. I know it. He's going to be there at the Rock. He might even be the mascot at some point. Put a little devil head on and skate around in between periods. I'll tell you one of the smartest things Lou Lamarillo ever did was keep Semyon Varlamov. That's, I'll tell you that. He talk was a pain the, in the ass last night. Talk about the goalie who stonewalls your team last night. That guy? Yeah, he had a okay. great game. Uh, I, 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 I respect sure. that. But then also, he's swinging that stick around dirty as well. Hey, That's another thing. You want to come into the I UBS? mean, like, you know, just because you've been in the league for what? 10, 12 years doesn't mean you can be swinging your stick around left and right. Fighting for a playoff spot. Defending home ice, you want to come in here with your little whistle? We're going to smack you around. Yeah, okay. S- send you right back right, to the Madison smack Square Garden. Okay. As we little skate light circles work. around you. Light work. You're embellishing team. Light work. Embellishing all over the place. And they weren't even out of breath last I'm a night, the Islanders. By, uh, you know, 53. They I, didn't even need to take a I shower last him, night. I'm going to call him Mr. Embellishment. Those guys, and I he heard. He knows exactly what I'm talking about, although the penalty wasn't called, but he knows exactly what I'm talking didn't about. Didn't even break a sweat last night, right. I heard. They, they didn't even take a shower. They just they weren't even tired. They just they just left. They just put on their suits and just took off. Right. Like, man, that was some light work tonight. Man, oh, man. Yeah. And oh. all the Islander fans and the Islanders waking up, a little smile on their face. You know, let me put on, see what the, what's happening with the weather today. A little sip of coffee and you're in here bitching and moaning about the Cross Island Parkway. Uh, you know, listen, the Cross Island Parkway is fine. It just becomes the Indy 500. That's all. Oh, you babe. know it and I know it. You've it's been wonderful. there. You've seen it. It's wonderful. What a wonderful morning. This is great. I mean, I thought you'd be a little bit happy that the Knicks won, but clearly not. It didn't even penetrate your world at all. No, I, I read all about the Knicks. I didn't watch one. I, I can't sit here and say that. I, I, I do know that Brunson won for 45 again. And yeah. He's, he's incredible, man. He is absolutely incredible. I And uh, I I want to take my hat off to him. and Because uh, he does. He plays like a Ranger. He plays hard. He plays tough. And, uh, you know, that's what it's going to take to win in the playoffs. And uh, plays of like course a you're Ranger? Have, and of course, a Ranger. And of <laughs> plays course, like a Ranger is yes, take and, on Jalen and, Brunson. And, and, you, and you want to know why? Because he's actually got skill. Doesn't yeah. have to play hammerhead hockey. All right, well, we'll see what happens in the postseason. Hammerhead hockey might end up going a little bit farther than your little skill hockey. Your little ice capades. No, no, ice our, capades. our guys are not oh, ice capades. Right. Our guys are tough enough, man. That's all right. A couple things got to get cleaned up. There's no question about that. And uh, La Violette will get it cleaned up. And then uh, we'll, we'll see a little hammerhead hockey. 